All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus. I actually wasn't going to upload or record this video today, but oh, hold on. There's something I need to take care of. Hold on. Shit. Where'd he go? <sighs> I, uh, I don't know if I'll leave that in or not, but <laughs> there is this gnat that's been driving me crazy. And I don't know where it came from, but it's been flying around my apartment for hours. I killed two of them earlier and I don't know where they came from, but it's like I might have to get a freaking bug trap to take care of them. Anyway, <laughs> welcome back. We're, uh, we're gonna be doing the third Colossus today, which this is one of my all time favorite enemies in video games in general. This guy is awesome. My background, my desktop background at my computer at the office where I'm interning at and it's just it's awesome it's uh it's it's not the biggest colossus but it is pretty huge nonetheless it's uh you might think it's in the same area that we went to before with the second one but it's actually way back there and uh I really am familiar with like the first half of this game the best um, the second half of this game is where I start to kind of lose my memory about how to get to some of them. Unfortunately for us, um, I always get lost on one of the Colossi. So much so that you might end up seeing a, uh, a funny comment reel of me as I'm talking to myself trying to figure out how to get to this, uh, not this Colossus, but I think it's like the ninth or the 10th Colossus. Um... So it takes forever to find him. It, it kind of actually encourages you to explore the world and check things out for yourself. Now, way over there, this Colossus, that's way, way over there where that kind of like dark cloud is in the distance, that's a, that's a scary one. That's also one of the hardest enemies in the whole game to fight. Um, I would say that the last Colossus, the ninth Colossus, and then the... Oh gosh, I think it's the 12th and the 4th, or... Yeah, I think it's like the 12th and the 14th Colossus. No, it's the... I think it's the 11th and 14th Colossus are really, really difficult. Um, the last one is really difficult just because it's... Well, just really difficult. I won't spoil it in case you haven't ever watched this game or, or seen any of the footage of it before. Also, this game's probably quite a graphical upgrade from... Uh, Final Fantasy X, because that game's really old. This game's also really old, but this remaster is also much better. And then the uh, 10th, or the 11th, and the 14th, whatever they are, those Colossus are also really hard because they're really fast, and their, their method of, um, of getting them to kind of submit to your whim, <laughs> so to speak, is uh, a little bit less intuitive than you'd probably think. Also, this is scary looking. The water looks so much scarier in this game. If I can, if I remember to do it whenever I'm editing this, I'll, uh, I'll see if I can find an image of the water in Shadow of the Colossus and drop a picture of it in here so you guys can see what I'm talking about because it's wild looking. It looks so much darker in this game than it did than it did in the ps even the ps3 version of it honestly now this jump right here that we're about to have to make is kind of notorious for being one of the hardest jumps in the whole game because if you do it at the wrong anger anger angle you'll fall right into the water and that's no fun now I'm trying to remember here can i do it let's try got it okay Whew. That's not an easy jump. And this one's not super easy either. Ooh. Got it, though. Oh, thank God. If I had fallen off there, that's like another three minutes of just dead air that I'll have to fill. Whereas uh, this guy that we're about to fight is going to fill in quite a lot of dead air. Now, you can actually kind of see him. It, it kind of almost just looks like he's sleeping, like... Like, it makes me wonder 
here is when I started, whenever I got a little bit older and I actually processed what I was doing in this game, I think that um, maybe right about here is where I started to like, ooh, hold on, I don't want to fall off. Maybe here is right about the point where I really started to think like, man, this, this, look at this guy, he's not doing anything. So why do I need to kill him? And that's a whole nother video that I want to make at some point where I talk about like the morality of Shadow of the Colossus, which actually there's another person who did a video kind of like that. And I, I really liked his video, but I wanted to touch on some of the topics that he covered in a little bit bigger detail, just because like, honestly, I could write probably a short book about this game. Now, this Colossus is scary. Like, hold on. Let's see here. How do I get to... I'm trying to remember here. How do I get to camera mode? Alright. I just had a million issues here. Uh, I'm going to show a picture of a screenshot that I managed to get while I was having these issues, though. For some reason, my entire capture card just, like, crapped its pants really hard. So... We're in the middle of the fight now. Uh, I don't 100% know where this is going to pick up from, but I'm in the middle of the fight, and I haven't actually done that much, though. So let's just continue. The trick with this guy is that we can't actually deal any damage to him yet because we don't have a way to get onto him. Now, the only way that we can get onto him is he can actually hit us with that big old weapon of his, Boy, that's scary looking, isn't it? He can hit us with that big old weapon of his and pretty much instantly end our lives. But the thing that we have to do to kind of get out of the way, we um, have to find a way to break off that part of his armor. That's, uh, let's see if I can aim the bow. That bit right there. Once we break that thing off, this is a piece of cake and we can just hop on him and kill him. Which is done just like that. Fucking go away, Nat. This episode is a complete nightmare. I don't know how I'm going to edit this thing into something that's manageable. But anyway, now we should be able to get onto him pretty easily. Because all we got to do is get on his fur. Which is a little bit questionable, actually. Oh no, I fell off. Now, I'm actually going to see if it'll let me hold on to... Yeah, okay, that's what I wanted. Let me up. No! <laughs> Alright, come on now, just let me grab the fur. Thank you. Now, the other Colossus that we just fought in the last episode has three weak points. This one also has three weak points. But I don't like... Uh, any of them, actually. They all kind of suck. They all have their problems. The one that I'm currently heading to is really hard to, like, get a consistent grip on, so it makes it really, really challenging to, like, guarantee that you're gonna get any kind of a hit on him. Oh, god, we're gonna fall off. Ah! Okay, come on, grab on, grab on. Come on. Come on, you can do it, you can do it, come on. No! ho 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 just swing your sword at me, dude. Just attack me. Thank you. Like I said, I don't know how much of this I'm actually going to be able to salvage. I'm, I'll, I'll at least leave in the parts that are entertaining if I can. Alright, so we actually made it back on his arm. And uh, we're just going to try that again. This time we're going to rest whenever we get up here to the top of his arm. Because we really don't want to screw that up again. Oh my god. And we almost did. Because I fell off of him. Almost. I like got on the other side of his armor. Alright, well now we're on his fur and we're going up his arm. We should have more than enough stamina to do this this time. And if we don't, I'm going to be mad. Although we have plenty, so it looks like we're going to be A-OK. -okay. This guy is still pretty awesome awesome looking, though. Even though this is definitely one of the more frustrating of the fights. He's just such a sort of classic character. 
classic looking enemy. Now, here is one of his weak points. Classically, we're going to have one on his head. Now, as you can see, that didn't chunk that much HP off. So we're in for the long haul on this one, unfortunately. However, it's not going to be too bad. The other two weak spots aren't that horrible. The problem with one of them, though, is that it's in a really, really awkward spot. So it, it becomes kind of difficult to maintain your, your grab on him. Now, I'm actually going to intel... Oh, Lord. I said I was about to say I'm actually going to intentionally get off his head so that way we can recover a little bit of our stamina here. Now I'm in the middle of this fight, and I kind of want to try it at some point. I'm not going to do it during this fight because that's stupid. But I kind of have always wanted to try it. Nice. Now, with uh, in the PS3 version of this game... There was something that you could do called sweet spotting, which is where you can actually grab onto just the right spot on uh, on these Colossus, and no matter how much they shake, they wouldn't knock you off. It's something that, as far as I can tell, doesn't exist in this version of the game, but um, it's still something that's used by speedrunners who speedrun like the PS3 version of this game, which... There's not a whole lot of people who speedrun this game. It's kind of one of those games that is kind of tough to speedrun unless you do it in time trial mode, which is a perfectly fair way to speedrun it. Um, that's universally fair way to speedrun it. Um, that's universally how most people do speedrun this game, but I've always wanted to speedrun it where you actually have to, like, optimize your path. Oh, shoot. Ooh. <laughs> where you have to optimize your pathing to get to the... Uh, to get to the Colossus on the horse. Like, I've, I've always thought that that's, like, a true speedrun of this game. But I've my record right now getting through the game is about two hours or so. Oh, look at that. We, okay, so we did get his, his head weak point. Um, so we actually have one more kind of difficult weak point to get to on his arm here. And this is definitely one of my least favorite weak points on a Colossus. But he doesn't seem to move around a whole lot while you're on this particular weak point. So, I don't know. This one just doesn't, like, he doesn't move around a lot, but he does cause you to lose your grip a whole him. Although, we're making pretty good headway on him. It's not going to surprise me if we end up falling off of him. As a matter of fact, it might almost be better for us to fall off of him. Look at that, we actually did get the weak point though. And we might even be able to get back up to the top. If we get lucky. Which we did not get lucky. That okay, cool. Now I should be able to get on him this time. And in theory... I'll be able to grab on- Oh, come on! Alright, let's try this again. Okay, good. I at least grabbed the ledge this time. Now, get up. Thank you. So the this one's actually kind of a tough uh, weak spot to get to as well. It's on his stomach, but that doesn't really make it easy. It It's still pretty challenging to get on here. Um, because you kind of have to jump onto that platform. And, uh, well, let's see what we can do here. Hey, we actually did it. Now that other tough part is being able to hit his stomach which he kind of does a jiggy and it makes it really tough to hit him but we don't need to do too many hits probably just five or six which I think should be very doable to be able to hit him although of course we're going super slow with these hits so maybe like four more now probably like four more yeah maybe two more actually now Mm, maybe one more if I get really lucky here. Oh, nope. Oh, and there he goes doing his jiggy again. Alright, uh, one more for sure. Come on. You can do it. Finally. 
Oh, what a masterpiece of an episode. Oh. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> this is a lot of stuff I have to look through. Because unbelievably, I'll have... I think for this episode I'll have close to like 35 minutes of footage to edit. Potentially by the time everything is done. Potentially by the time everything is done. So, there's the death spaghetti. Um, so yeah, I, this, let's see. This episode right here that I was looking at is uh, half a gigabyte by itself. And it's, let's see. Well, actually part two was... Um, almost a gigabyte. The first half of this episode is half of a gigabyte, and this is like three times as long as that other part, so I don't know. It's probably closer to like 25 minutes of footage by the time I'm done with it, but it's like I'll have to try to cut that down to something that's viewable. <laughs> And we're going to have to save that Colossus for next time, though, because I am frustrated and done. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of... What the heck? Oh, it was just my stamina. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus. See you guys next time.